Hi everyone and welcome to this quick tutorial to show you how to convert architectural stairs to structural stairs. Before we start, let's just have a look at the problem we'll face. So I'm just going to show you a section through a core here. And if you look at uh, the section here, we can see we're cutting through the shear wall, we're also cutting through the stair. But if you look at the interface between the half landing here and the wall, it's not particularly great. And the same thing uh, to the slab. And that's because uh, for the limitation is you, the stairs are architectural components and you of course can't uh, join those to structural components. So I'm just going to show you a little uh, technique that I use for this. So I'm going to go back to my 3D view. And what I'm going to do is just create a sectional view just to help me see the uh, data a little bit easier. So we'll orientate to that section there. And we'll just tweak that slightly just so I can get a better view on that. That's it. And I'm going to show you how we'd now build a staircase from, from this. So, I'm going to start off by using an in-place component. So we'll say model in-place. Now there isn't um, a stair category here and even if there was I wouldn't want to use it because clearly I want to um, have this as part of a structural system. So I'm going to uh, put it on the category floors here and I'll give it a name so this will be stair 01. And now we need to create a work plane so I'm going to ask Revit to set a work plane on a face of my choice. So I'll move over here, pick that and now we need to extrude. Now Obviously what I want to do is be able to access the line work from the staircase. So I'm going to use pick lines here. I'm going to ask it to lock the geometry into the original staircase. So if I change the staircase it will update my geometry. So I'll move over here. And now the secret is to use the tab key to actually go and find certain bits of uh, data. Like that. You can see that's pretty quick and easy to do. Now here I've got an overlap, not a problem. We'll just uh, delete the overlap in there. Like so. And then we'll finish the extrusion. So you now see that I can pull that extrusion through that way. And we'll lock that back to that face there. Okay, so that's that um, that flight actually done. Let's just put it back to that stair there. Right, so we're going to now do um, the landing again. So we'll go back to uh, create, extrude. Uh, again we'll pick lines. Now this time I've only got a couple of lines to pick so I'll just pick those manually there. Um, what I want to do is I want to better take this right the way through so we'll trim that together like that and then we'll finish that so this one is now going to go back to that wall there and lock in and this one kind of just wants to start there Okay, so last one, so we'll go create, set, and we'll pick a plane, which is now going to be on this face here. Extrude, pick lines. Now I've got the lock on again. There's my geometry this time. And we'll finish that. So this one is going to lock up to that back wall there. This one will come along to here. Okay, and we'll finish the model. Now, what I've now done is I've got that in place staircase. Now, I'm going to hide the original staircase here, which is not that one. Let's see if we can find it. So we'll have to cycle again. That's the one. So we'll hide that. Okay, and there's my original, uh, sorry, there's my new staircase. Now, I'm just going to edit this again. And the beauty of this now is that we can start to use these little shape handles just to manipulate the stairs and get exactly what we want here. So I'll just remove that constraint. I might want to kind of have that going a little bit further along there. You know, if there's finished face level changes and so on on particular stairs, you know, for example, I might need to just lower this one a little bit. Yeah, you, know, you can do all that. You've got the flexibility to get in there and, and change that. So what I'm going to do here is select all this data and we're going to assign some materials to it, so structural material in there. We can obviously join these items together as well. So you now see I've joined the staircase so it's monolithic and then we'll finish the model. Now here I'm going to select the staircase, edit type and I'll now assign a material to this. So in our case this will be C40. There it is. Okay, 
and there it is. So now we go back and we can join this to the wall. Uh, we can get this and join it to the slab and so on. You can see I've got a much nicer set of interfaces there. So let's go back and take a look at our original section now. So section through core and you can see we've got a much cleaner piece of geometry plus as you see I've got the ability to edit any levels there to accommodate the architect's uh, particular finishes. Okay, hope that's been of use. Thanks very much.